Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a breakbeat beer. It's been a little bit since I've had this company. I think the last one I had, was it the 21%er? Probably. Probably. It was quite a while ago. Um, that was the most memorable one. 21% strongest beer on the channel. <laughs> and I think this one, same company, is coming up with a strong second place for the strongest beer on the channel. If I've not had anything stronger than this. Uh, this is called The One. This is Freeze Distilled Imperial Stout, and this is 17.2%. It is currently a Friday. It's a long day at work. The cat is going ballistic. What is up? Are you okay? Yeah, you're fine. Um, yeah, so, it you know, Friday night beer. The only one I'm going to drink tonight. This is going to be the one. Um, it says Freeze Distilled Imperial Stout brewed to mark our first anniversary. A big base beer, frozen to remove water and increase the ABV. So for anyone who doesn't know, uh, which is probably no one out there who watches beer reviews, you're probably all pretty all caught up on what freeze distilled is, but it's when they freeze the alcohol, chip away at the water, and it leaves a stronger alcohol, alcohol content to the beer. Um, there was a big thing of who's going to get the strongest beer in the world. It was between Brewdog and a German company, and a German company won, I think it was 50-something percent, 60% beer. That's just beyond what I I would tolerate as beer. Uh, anyway, I might I'd probably give it a go, but I wouldn't buy it. Anyway, anyway, we'll get into it. Um, so yeah, break beats. I enjoyed the stuff I had. I think I had the first five, six beers. Don't really know. It's been a long time. I'm looking forward to it. This is number fifteen, um, and it says it's best served at room temperature, which it is. I bought this today at the market bottle shop. This cost a tenner, so this is why I'm taking it slow with it. Uh, also, it's 17%, so I'm not going to swig it. But yeah, it costs a tenner, which is just mad for a 330 bottle. So it best be worth £10. And I'm going to tell you if it is worth £10 because tenner's a lot. Anyway, let me get under the wax. They're all wax sealed, these by Breakbeat. They're all above 10% as well, I think. Anyway, let's uh, try and crack it open. A little hiss. Come on. I think, as well, this is the first freeze distilled beer I've had on this channel. God, look at that. It's actually bending the bottle opener. Yeah, I think this is the first. Oh, God, I can just get it and then it slips away. There we go. Yeah, first freeze to still be on the channel. Oh, there we go. Um, so I'm really looking forward to these. I've never had anything like this before uh, to improve the alcohol content. Unless the 21 percent was also freeze distilled, I don't know. Anyway, let's pour it. There goes the bottle cap. Still some left in the bottle, but I only really wanted to do this. Ugh. Okay. It's plain black, don't need to bother with that. Anyway, uh, I only poured it there because I want to get that alcohol line, which is huge, by the way. I mean, you can see straight into that. That is mental. Uh, anyway, so there's the beer. Lovely jet black beer with a very, very dark... Head. It's a lovely milk chocolate colour. Um, it's quickly dissipating. There's little bits of wax in the beer. No, I'm not going to do that. Anyway, let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? All my nose hairs are now singed. So it's a lot of alcohol. It's very, very strong, this. It's really really in your face um so yeah alcohol 17 percent it's not hidden especially in the smell um it's got a nice woody malty smell to it dark chocolates milk chocolates not as much it's a very dark chocolate heavy beer uh but with a little milky chocolatey sweetness
It smells bitter, it smells dark and rich. Let's get a mouthful for body and carb. Carb. Carb is super, super light, really, really fine. <clears throat> body is a very, very, very medium full body. It's nearly a, nearly, nearly a full body. Um, I'm not going to just do another sip to test the body. I'll tell you in a second when I do the big taste. It is creamy, velvety, it's smooth and oily and slick. But this alcohol, straight over the mouth, over the palate, Inside the cheeks, the mouth is covered in alcohol, but you get to the throat and there's a little bit there, but going down and into the stomach, there is no alcohol that you can feel. It's all in the mouth, which is really, really good. Really well done. It doesn't hurt when it goes down, which is nice. Anyway, let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. Apologies, the washing machine is on. Yeah, I'm giving it a full body, it's a full body. Um, flavour though, it's dark, it's rich, it's bitter. <coughs> Roasted malts, um, wood, smoky, almost tobacco-y flavour. Um, dark chocolates, a little bit of licorice. And it has this nice, very, very fine milk chocolatey sweetness with a little bit of like a treacle caramel in there just a little sugary sweet kick but nothing that really overpowers all this bitterness and this richness and the darkness of the beer it's all that with a tiny bit of sugar in to maybe lift it up a little so it doesn't go too dark but it's a nice amount that it's not overpowering it's not over the top and in your face it's a really, really nice balance. It's there, you know it's there, you can obviously taste it all, it's, and it doesn't go too far. It's lovely, it's great. And then you put the alcohol at 17%. You get a little flavour, and then the palate's covered in alcohol, and sort of traps in that flavour, so it's a nice lingering, lasting flavour as well. It doesn't just dissipate really quickly, and go, there's the flavour, see you later. It sticks around, it's really nice. It's a lovely lingering effect. It's a lovely lasting flavour. This is 17.1? 17.2. So it's 17.2 and it's lasting, it's there. It's not going away for you to go back for more. This is lasting so that way you can go, all right, take a step, just take a sip, put it down, do what you're doing, play your game, watch your telly, sit in front of your fire, do whatever you want to do, chat with some friends, and then after a bit of time, pick it back up, give it another mouthful, and then enjoy. Um, yeah, that's great. I'm going to top it up, and then I'm going away to enjoy the rest of it. I am not going to drink anymore on camera, because this is my only drink of the night. I did do Tropical Twist, but that was before this. This is now my last drink of the night. So not my only, but last. I'm trying to get every drop out of that bottle. You can see it's still dribbling down the side. Right. So, put that down. Breakbeat, the the one. Freeze distilled Imperial Stout at 17.2%. This, I think, is the second strongest beer on the channel. Uh, behind Breakbeat's 21%er. I've got my cans there to say massive percentages i've got some reviews out there to say massive percentages i think the biggest before this was maybe 15 or 16 percent uh before the 21 as well so i think breakbeat are the top two strongest beers and i think it's wonder beyond in third place so yeah they're really yeah they're, they're taking it somewhere they don't really it looks like they don't care about this alcohol tax which is affecting anything above 8.5 because like i say all their beers 10 and above 
I've not had anything below a 10, I don't think, from them. First five or six beers I had, all above a 10. And obviously the 21, now 17. I think there was another one in the market bottle shop for 15%, 14%. I was going to get it, but I was, you know, it's £10 a bottle. I was like, I'm just going to get the one. But this is top-notch stuff. This is top-shelf drinking. Anyway, um, so out of 10 after all that. Uh, this is a 10 out of 10. It's fantastic. It's really, really nice. It's dark, it's rich, it's bitter, and it has a nice little sweet kick into it. It's fantastic. I love it. Breakbeat have done a good job there with the freeze distilling. I can guarantee that if they were to do this again and want to get a stronger percentage, they would just easily do that. Maybe refreeze it, re-chip away at the, the water and keep doing it until they got something strong. Uh, but yeah, I think they could definitely do that again in something stronger. Not that I'm complaining that this is too weak, because it's not. Anyway, um, if you want this beer, I'll leave a link to their website down below. If I can find it, if they have one, if you can buy it, get one, give it a go. I was tempted to buy two and stick one in the cupboard, but I thought it's £10 a bottle. I don't want to spend 20 quid on two beers. Ten's enough. Um, but the link will be down below for Breakbeat. I got this from Market Bottle Shop, so if you want one, come into Preston. Pick one up, say hello to Steve, he runs the shop, he's really nice. And get one, two, however many he wants. There's not a lot, I think he gets 12. Does he get 12? Yeah. He gets 12. So get them quick while they're still there. Um, but yeah, links down below, go to the Market Bottle Shop or try and find it in your local area if you can. They are from, where are they from? They are from Southampton. So they're down south. So anyone in Southampton, you might be able to find these, yeah. If you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth, and I'll see you later.